10 Steps to Accurate Manual Blood Pressure Measurement The best way to take your own blood pressure surveys indicate that physicians rarely follow the well-published guidelines for their use. This is where we feel it is important to remind all healthcare professionals of best practices related to manual blood pressure measurement. Step 1. Choose the right equipment. What you will need. 1. A quality stethoscope. 2. An appropriately sized blood pressure cuff. 3. A blood pressure measurement instrument such as an aneroid or mercury columns figma manometer or an automated device with a manual inflate mode. Step 2. Prepare the patient. Make sure the patient is relaxed by allowing 5 minutes to relax before the first reading. The patient should sit upright with their upper arm position so it is level with their heart and feet flat on the floor. Remove excess clothing that might interfere with the BP cuff or constrict blood flow in the arm. Be sure you and the patient refrain from talking during the reading. Step 3. Choose the proper BP cuff size. Most measurement errors occur by not taking the time to choose the proper cuff size. Wrap the cuff around the patient's arm and use the index line to determine if the patient's arm circumference falls within the range area. Otherwise, choose the appropriate smaller or a larger cuff. Step 4. Place the BP cuff on the patient's arm. Locate the brachial artery and position the BP cuff so that the artery marker points to the brachial artery. Wrap the BP cuff snugly around the arm. Step 5. Position the stethoscope on the same arm that you place the BP cuff. Palpate the arm at the anticubical fossa, crease of the arm, to locate the strongest pulse sounds and place the bell of the stethoscope over the brachial artery at this location. Step 6. Inflate the BP cuff. Begin pumping the cuff bulb as you listen to the pulse sounds. When the BP cuff has inflated enough to stop blood flow you should hear no sounds through the stethoscope. Step 7. Slowly deflate the BP cuff. The dough cut recommends that the pressure should fall at 2 to 3 millimeters of mercury per second. Anything faster may likely result in an inaccurate measurement. Step 8. Listen for the systolic reading. The first occurrence of rhythmic sounds heard as blood begins to flow through the artery is the patient's systolic pressure. This may resemble a tapping noise at first. Step 9. Listen for the diastolic reading. Continue to listen as the BP cuff pressure drops and the sounds fade. Note the gauge reading when the rhythmic sounds stop. This will be the diastolic reading. Step 10. Double check for accuracy. Reading with both arms and averaging the readings. 
to check the pressure again for accuracy wait about 5 minutes between readings. Typically, blood pressure is higher in the mornings and lower in the evenings. If the blood pressure reading is a concern or masked or white coat hypertension is suspected, a 24-hour blood pressure study may be required to assess the patient's overall blood pressure profile. Subscribe to my channel and share this video. If you like this video, 